So police are looking for a male wanted for a robbery in Pickering. Now, this happened on December 23rd, 2023. That's right. You got the dates correct. Two days before Christmas. So apparently a woman was at an ATM machine. And uh, this ATM machine was located at 1822 White's Road. I used to live in this area. And uh, she was pulling money, you know, withdrawing cash. And the male grabbed the victim, stole the money that she just took out, and then fled the area on foot. Now, apparently, the victim sustained minor injuries. And they're obviously looking for this guy. Now, here's the deal. Two days before Christmas, this guy is not wearing a mask. In the age of cell phones and CCTV, at a bank, at a bank, dude, there are cameras everywhere, especially at a bank. If you're going to commit a crime, at a bank where there is cameras, you should cover your face. Even like in the old Western movies, they would wear the bandana or the handkerchief to cover the lower part of their face. They they knew this even back then. Well, this speaks to a level of desperation. Again, two days before Christmas. We don't know this guy's home life we don't know his personal situation but i think it's fair to assume two days before christmas he ain't got no money he's gonna have to do what he has to do now granted there could be a plethora of other reasons why he did this he could be a drug addict he could owe money to somebody he borrowed it for like there could be a number of reasons right what i'm saying is How hard do we throw the book at this person, especially if it turns out that they're on the brink? I mean, not everybody is doing, and I'm doing air quotes here, okay, financially. Not everybody has the housing situation that they want or even any housing situation. People are desperate is what I'm trying to say. So yes, he committed a crime. I feel like he should be caught and he should be punished. My question, though, is how harshly? Because if the government created a situation where there are hundreds of people just like him walking around, male or female. Well, I mean, I pay taxes. I'm assuming you do as well if you're listening to this. I would like to think some of my tax dollars is a going towards keeping me safe police and B helping people like this out. Now I know they have Ontario works like welfare and things like that. So I don't like, again, I'm assuming if this guy is homeless, he has utilized that option before he decides to rob a woman two days before Christmas This woman could have been taking out money to donate to a charity, to buy gifts for family, food for fam. Like, who knows? Right. So I see both sides here. But all I'm saying is this guy did something wrong. He should be caught. He should be punished. And through further investigation on what his personal life is currently like, because, again, we don't know. This could have been 100 percent desperation not saying it's right i'm not saying he did a good thing right but i think that side also needs to be looked at before you apply a punishment for him that's my thoughts what are yours hit the comments